side that got thrashed 6-2 last Sunday at Red Bulls 2. Five to be precise. The big one up front, Ashton Gordon returns to lead the line. And then a pair of first teamers sliding in in Nick Firmino, as well as Efrain Morales returning at center back since the for, for the first time since late April. Also, keep your eye on number 50, Dominic Chonqui, scored his first professional goal last time out. Flipping the script to the visitors tonight under first year headman Kelvin Jones, the familiar 3 4 3 that characterizes many crew teams of the past. And four changes across the board. Jaden Da returns up front. How about the headliner, though? Aziel Jackson. It is Columbus looking to continue their unbeaten stretch. And underway here from Kennesaw, Georgia, an Eastern Conference clash on this Sunday evening. Atlanta hoping to rectify form that is anything but sweltering. Ando Gianfi. He cuts it low. It falls to the feet of Da. And it's an excellent stop in the end from Hibbert. Gonzalez wins this back. Has some options upfield as well. It's a well-weighted ball through to Jaden Da. Da is through on goal. This time finishes with a plum. Columbus breaks through in the 14th minute. And the former Duquesne Duke gives Crew 2 the advantage. Well, this is a terrific ball. Splits the center backs perfectly. No time to recover. And Jaden Da, known as a... Played over 2,000 minutes last season. One of nine MLS Next Pro players in history. Here's Gordon in space. The USU-17 squad at the World Cup in Indonesia this past fall. Here's Firmino's ball through. It comes to Timimi in space. Kareem Timimi. That one off the inside of the near post. It's the outside of the stanchion. Here's Delibra once again. Flashing cross across the face of goal. And Jaden Hibbert stands up to both efforts. Team Emi, closing stages of this first half. And opportunities both directions in a progressively more open affair. Firmino. Has some space. Team Emi. Centeno now. First time ball. It's over the head of Johnson. Comes to Chong Kui. Cleared only as far as Noble Locello. We are now beyond the added two minutes. Centeno's cross. And there are no black shirts waiting on it. And there is the halftime whistle. A Jaden Da 14th minute opener is what makes the difference, but it is a progressively more end-to-end -end affair and one that creates intrigue as we get set. As there is a change being readied with Matias Gallardo entering the action for Atlanta. A dynamic winger hoping to unlock this match for the five stripes. He will replace Nick Firmino, a first team player who enjoyed a really impactful and influential first half, but likely being rested back for first team duty. Well, we are back underway from Prestis. This is AZ Jackson. Ball comes through. Daz on goal. An excellent stop from Hibbert. Denying him at point blank range for the second time tonight. Here's Jackson in space. Cuts it towards Da. Tried to put the header in the turf. And it didn't take the hop he was hoping for. There have been opportunities for Da to double his tally for the night. Hasn't quite taken advantage of the last few that have come his way. In a match where it seems like both sides at times walking on a tightrope, that second would have helped immensely.
We are now beyond the hour mark here from Fifth Third Bank Stadium. A 1-0 advantage for Columbus Crew 2. We have seen Atlanta threaten since. It has made for an intriguing affair as we enter the final 30 minutes of the 90. Here's the long ball towards Gallardo, who is able to keep this in play, but unable to link up with Centeno. Rayo, a quiet night by his lofty goal scoring standards. It's one back here by Sanchez. A low driver. Pearson seems to be sliding back to that outside center back role despite being a listed midfielder. Well, Anthony Alloway, a forward who's historically played on the wing for Crew 2, enters the action for the proper nine, Jaden Da, who will be forced to settle for just one goal tonight, despite a number of enticing chances falling at his feet. Alloway, just 17 years of age, his opportunity to carve out a more regular role. Chong Kui crosses it in. It falls for Centeno. Right into the gloves of Johnson in the end. But Atlanta pushing ferociously still, hunting that equalizer. Here's Centeno, growing in influence. Toward the back post. Johnson has to dive at full extension, and Armas got him moving. Eric Centeno has been at the center of everything here in the second half. He just charges into space. It's a late recovery from Williams. And Armas is free, but the ball's a little behind him for the header, and he's forced to stop up. And that prevents him from properly challenging Johnson. But Okello wins this back. Team Mimi was a mainstay in the 11 to begin last year before suffering an injury in June seems to be a more defensive approach, perhaps even a four back from Columbus. Here's the ball forward to Matias Gallardo. Some space for Gallardo! Equalizes for Atlanta. A terrific strike, and the five stripes find themselves level. A first goal of the season for Matias Gallardo, who cuts in on his left. Love a number of black shirts in front. There is time for Atlanta to snatch a surprise winner. Here's Gallardo, the man of the hour. Lays it off. Chong Kui, flag stays down. Chong Kui puts Atlanta in front on his first professional start. What a turn of events here in Kennesaw. And Atlanta in line for potentially three. It'll be Delibra to deliver this in-swinger. Hooks this towards the near post. Doesn't find anyone in yellow. It does ping free to Alloway though. Pearson, some space. Pearson uncorks one and a lovely strike. A wonder goal to level it. The 21 year old Pearson has. The Columbus side with far more experience in shootouts than their Atlanta counterparts. Armas. It's a terrific ball. Comes for Sanchez. Johnson does a terrific job to salvage a point. Cooper Sanchez in acres of space. A perfect ball from Armas. And Johnson forced to race off his line, gets his legs to it, and keeps it Columbus level for the time being. Armas stands over this corner. Was that the golden opportunity for Atlanta? It's an in-swinger toward the back stick. Cleared only as far as Gallardo. Clips it back in, headed along. 
Still loose in the box. Here is the outswinger from Gonzalez towards the back post. There was contact, but nothing to trouble Hibbert. And that is the full-time whistle. After 90 minutes, nothing to separate these two sides. A 2-2 barn burner sets the stage for a penalty shootout to determine an extra point in the standings. It's the captain who's been so sure-footed in scenarios like these. Armas manages to tuck it in the bottom left. And Okello slots it home. Calm and composed and drives it into the bottom left. Atlanta with a two penalty advantage through as many rounds and this is as cool as you like. A lot of force behind that. Perfect placement in the bottom left. The Canadian converts. And now it is almost a must score situation for Jabon Rayo. A 22-year-old out of Dallas, Texas, who has so much experience scoring in this league. If he misses, Atlanta is one spot kick from winning. And this time, Ryo keeps his side afloat. He gets Columbus on the board in the shootout. Well, this time he sends Hibbert the wrong way waits to make up his mind and goes relatively close to the middle. It's a cheeky penalty, but it's one that does the job for one of the top goal scorers in the league. And now the hero, the man who brought Atlanta level, Matias Gallardo, gets his opportunity at the spot. He can push Columbus to the brink with a finish here. Already one goal to his name tonight. And this time it's saved by Johnson. Atlanta has blinked, and Columbus with more than a lifeline in this shootout. Johnson guesses the right way. Gallardo puts that right in the sweet spot within his reach. And Columbus could pull themselves level now. Tristan Brown. The 16-year-old who has yet to attempt a spot kick this season. With an opportunity to pile the pressure on the hosts. Brown against Hibbert. And he slots it in. With force and placement. A terrific blend to level the spot kick scenario. Hibbert doesn't get out to that near post in time, and there's too much steam behind it. And that puts a bit of pressure here on Ramsey Kwasmi, who could make it a must-make scenario for Columbus, but also could have put Atlanta in some trouble. The former Providence College man at 24 years of age with a world of professional experience. Trying to push Columbus to the brink, and he does so with aplomb. He's a center back, but that was a forwards finish from 12 yards. Again, guesses properly for Johnson, but it's just beyond his reach. It is perfect placement into that bottom left corner. And so that makes this a must-make scenario for Owen Prestis, who is three of four on the season in penalties. He buried the decisive spot kick last week to secure the victory over Toronto. He needs to make this to keep Columbus afloat. And that he does. Jukes Hibbert out of his cleats. So composed here from Prestis. He has Hibbert shaking on his line, just waits for him to make the wrong decision, and all he has to do is stroke it into the bottom left. But Atlanta can still win right here if Kareem Timimi can take care of business. He has only taken one penalty, but it was the winner against New York on this very ground on May 3rd. He can secure the additional point 
right here from 12 yards. Timimi against Johnson. And Timimi drives it home. Atlanta with the extra point tonight in spot kicks. And the 27-year-old Timimi makes it a perfect two of two on the year from 12.